Hi everybody, welcome aboard Valkyrie. My name is Cynthia. This video that you're about to see is uh, a video that we took during the weekend um, in February. It was super frigid weather that weekend as most of you in New England and on the East Coast experienced uh, that February 3rd, 4th, 4th, 5th weekend of 2023. We experienced for the first time here on Valkyrie below zero weather. We've been through many nor'easters. We've had hurricane-like winds. Um, we've experienced quite a bit while we've been living on board for two and a half years. But the below zero temperature was definitely new to us. Uh, we tried to get um, be prepared. We tried to think of everything we could um, and added a plan B and C. Uh, thankfully, we did not lose power during this weekend. If we had lost power, that would have been a whole game changer for us. But thankfully, we were able to run our electric heat for the weekend. And you'll see um, on the video what transpired and how we managed. So please enjoy the video, like and subscribe. Um, and it, for any additional detail, if you would like to join um, in on alongsidecreations.com somewhere on the water. That is where the written blog is and that shows a lot of detail of living on board Valkyrie in between the videos. So what you don't see on a video is probably written there. Again, alongsidecreations.com somewhere on the water. Also, what I will do is in the comment section here on this video, I will put a link to a separate video that I took while I walked around Fiddler's Cove um, that same weekend just to show you um, outside. And this video is all how we survived inside in our below zero weather. And then look for the link for um, how Fiddler's Cove and the marina survived. Uh, we totally were iced in but um, you'll see all that. So thank you again for tuning in and I really appreciate you. Again, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. We turned Valkyrie into what? What did you say, Haley? A pillow fort. A pillow fort. Like a fort like you would when you were kids and would hide away. So we're at minus 14 wind chill right now. Valkyrie is a cozy 62 degrees. It is six o'clock and we are hunkered in for minus 30, what? Minus 36 blankets and towels stuffed everywhere. Haley is making us a cold dinner because we've got the electric maxed out. So, nope. so we're two hours from the last video and it's 60 degrees in here. It's 8 o'clock. And what did you just say about the wind speed? Um, Buzzards Bay Buoy is recording gusts of 53 miles an hour, which is actually down a little bit. Really interesting. It was more like 55 a minute, uh, a little while ago, six, and our temperature is still falling. So it's eight o'clock at night and Haley's room is holding sweet at 66.9. Um, Jordan's room's quite nice. Jordan's room is at 69. Okay, right now I'm in our bedroom, the master. And that's at 68. So really it's the salon heat that's struggling. Say that again. <laughs> so our air temperature is eight degrees and still falling steadily. And our wind speed is 46 with gusts of 56, which exceeds all of our predict wind predictions. Double it. No, I'm not doubling. No, I'm, yeah, I know, but we've said in the past when we were cruising, you should just double whatever it is they're talking about, but. We expected the highest to be 53, and it's already 56. Okay. 
this. You definitely need your sea legs today. We've blocked all our windows, so I can't, you know, open a door or a window and show you what's going on outside. But that's all right. Yeah, I just want to know where the temperature is going to bottom out. The wind chill. Well, we're holding at 59.7 yeah, in the salon. My, um, actually, that probably was in the game. My fleece on. I got my insulated socks on. I got some socks and slippers on and my trusty old Vermont sweats and my hard rock cafe. What time Universal is it? It's sweatshirt on. Nine. It's supposed to feel like five degrees with minus 24 and we're getting down to minus eight and minus 36. So we got a ways to go. It's about 9.30 in the morning, I think. This is the port side door. I just pulled up the sheet that we had as you may or may not know we had a ton of blankets all over. The windows have got ice on the inside, frost. I'm not going to open any doors yet to video outside because we need to keep as much heat inside as we can, but you can see that the harbor is frozen. We've opened all the blinds this morning. The solar heat will definitely warm us up up here. But yeah, we're frozen in. I just scratched the window, that's my little scratch with the ice. Mark slept up here last night and he just every hour woke up and checked everything. Um, okay, so the coffee is brewing. It's 49 in the salon and we are totally iced in, but the blinds are open and the sun is gonna warm us up. This is our back door. So what you're looking at is the sump pump down here in Jordan's room. The um, as we're trying to defrost the pipes and to get water flowing it we noticed it wasn't really necessarily draining so several drains like jordan's bathroom haley's bathroom they drain to the sump pump before it discharges overboard but since the overboard discharge is frozen it's just filling this pump but the pump we can't get to shut off um, it none of the buttons on the electric panel will shut this off so mark has this crowbar on the flow switch so that it won't burn itself out and eventually when things start to defrost we'll go from there um just so you know that when he does talk about the sump pump and the water that's discharging overboard that is only gray water as in the water that we use to wash our hands at our sinks um, and nothing else um, so we are not polluting the water um, we are very safe and uh, we have a marine biologist uh, student so she keeps us on our toes and makes sure that we're doing everything um, like we should. Well it's noon and we have warmed up to 53 degrees in the salon. Our bedroom still is the warmest room but the ice is almost gone from the windshield here 
starboard side of the boat is probably going to just be ice the whole day. Okay, it's 1.30 and we're up to 58.8 and let's see what's going on down here. Okay, so tell me what's going on at 1.30 well, in the afternoon on our <laughs> Arctic deep freeze weekend. All right, so our sump started pumping out, discharging overboard through the ice blockade. And then Jordan's faucet and Haley's faucet, the hot water was both frozen. So now I am pumping hot water. Yep, nice and warm into the sump and it's discharging so we're moving water through the plumbing to the sump box and overboard through the discharge so it's a good day good we are thawing out the side window i'm not touching this cur these blankets there's like three deep here i'm not going to touch those but all but that corner has thawed out on this side these windows don't get any direct sun, so we're, we are fine, but it's still frosty on the inside. Lovely layer. There it goes, it's focused. Lovely layer of frost still on the inside of our windows. Thank you to all of those of you that reached out that weekend and continue to reach out to check in to see how we did. And I know it's a usual, unusual circumstance living on board a boat in New England, and these temperatures are not temperatures that we've ever experienced before. We've certainly gone through our fair share of nor'easters, hurricane-like winds, etc. But to add that to um, the below zero temperatures that we had, it was, yeah, definitely a little anxiety producing, but we did fine. So thank you so much for checking in on us.